guys, have I ever told you about our container from Beaver Container Systems in Saskatoon? I think I have a few times, but they are the best freaking way to store stuff ever. It's cold in here. Yeah, it's definitely cold. But it's been like over a year and a half. No mice, no rain, no moisture, no mold, no nothing. Just fantastic. It's by far the best way to store stuff for sure. If you don't have room inside. This stuff right here? Yes. Empty boxes. Yeah, but sometimes you need empty boxes. Okay, we made a bit of room. And we got Christmas decorations. And we got some Christmas stuff out of the <laughs> container. <laughs> so we had to inch the shirt forward. And because uh, I just wanted this parked over top of that drain so all that can melt off and right down that freaking drain. It doesn't look like a lot, but the entire undercarriage is just freaking packed. So that is a lot of, <laughs> that is a lot of snow. <laughs> So that's gonna be a lot of water. So we'll just let that baby melt off. Okay, I'm gonna say good morning, but it's afternoon. So we are working on some mirrors for the, for the master bathroom. So we need two of them. So we had the mirrors already previously cut. So now we're just doing the frames and we're using this barn wood. So we're just kind of mocking things up. So this is what we decided with. We're gonna go with two and three quarter inch trim. It's gonna fit something like this. So you'll have this. That's the look you'll have if you look at that top corner. It's kind of hard to tell. There you go. That's how, that's how it'll be. So you have similar, well this might be in a tiny bit more maybe. You should have similar kind of distances all the way around. So I'm just cutting off. So this is the board we're working with. Off the, the old granary there. So we got to cut, cut the, it's not really a tongue or a groove, shiplap, right? So we got to cut that off and then we got to cut two and three quarters. So that ends up around there. So we'll get these two and three quarter inch pieces. That'll be top and bottom. And then we'll figure out um, how long our side pieces need to be. Okay. That is the before. That's all the links cut. And then here's the after. So everything at proper width. So I think we did three and a half for those and two and three quarter for those. And then it's kind of cool because the shiplap naturally has that little hollow. So that's the mirror can sit down in there and we'll just run a, a nice bead of silicone there. Because if you can tell when that's in place, you know, there's a tiny bit of a gap. It's kind of hard to tell with a mirror, but there's probably like a quarter inch gap there. So you don't want the mirror kind of flopping around, right? So we'll just run a little bit of silicone right there. And then, um, so we bought these, yeah, I think so. We bought these little uh, things to, this is how we're gonna secure everything at the back. We're gonna glue everything um, to make the main frame and we'll use these little, these little corner freaking whatever the heck they're called. And uh, that's how we'll screw everything together. Two per corner or what? Or just one per corner. Mm -hmm. Anyways, and then we'll just use our little 23 gauge nailer. Let like you can see it. <laughs> 23 gauge nailer to, uh, to uh, affix our kind of like front trim or whatever you call it to this, to the back. This so. is how you utilize what you already have to get something that you would like. Yeah, without it's me. buying it from a store. Yeah. So uh, overall uh, width is like only a quarter inch <laughs> smaller than the opening. So it should fit in there perfectly. So then after that, we'll have to figure out how we're gonna, how we're gonna mount it to the wall. We'll probably just use drywall anchors and then buy some, we should buy some little like hook ones so they hook on the screw good. Like, you know, not those other little picture ones. All right. Okay, so this is how we use these little brackets. I'm just trying to get this middle hole as far away from the edge as possible so we didn't get any cracking. So we didn't get any cracking. So it's funny how light this is. So everything else we add to it will add rigidity now. The mirror and the outer frame. All right. Probably put a little bit of glue on each side. Silicone. Or silicone. Yeah. And then. Uh... Okay, last couple minutes. Boom, second mirror. 
I'm just putting extra. Yeah. So that's what's so awesome about the 23 gauge nail is there's probably there's probably 20 nails in, especially Not, with this, this one super is rough. Perfect, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. You could use the big ones in a way. Yeah. Be. Like if you look, can you see? Look at this old screw hole or nail hole right here. Yeah. Character. And there too. Yeah. Character. Yeah. So okay. man, that turned out awesome. I feel like I'm in a Western Good job. <laughs> we had we had disagreements on how we were gonna do this, but in the end, I won out. <laughs> That's your, did you see her face? <laughs> okay, so boom, mirrors are done. How freaking awesome is that? She was worried about, about this edge that we cut not being gray, but I think it looks really cool like that. It's kind of mixes old with new. Yeah, totally, totally have a mirror in the bathroom. So we just got to run in and grab uh, some nice little hook, like little loops, and then so they hold on the wall really good. Because these probably weigh, I don't know, probably 10 pounds each, I'd say. Yeah, maybe 15. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> so we'll turn this one and we'll set this one beside it and then we'll go run in and then tomorrow we'll mount them on the wall. Okay, good morning guys. So Mrs. Asta is teaching her workout class. So I'm trying to tackle hanging these mirrors. So I got the first one done. It went really, really good. We're just using these uh, little drywall anchors good for 50 pounds each. So it should be really good. It fits the space like perfect. Friggin' awesome. We definitely didn't want to make it any bigger, that's for sure. Uh, even as it is, I had to take this little cloth hook off. There wasn't enough space, I couldn't angle it in because the top hits the top of the cabinet. And then uh, still, I had to lay the back, um, the top, I had to lay it way back and I had to slide it in to get it over top of that and then hooked it onto the hook. So here's what the drywall anchors look like. I did my little measurements, put my little anchors in. So I just got to put my little clips on the back of the second mirror and then hang that one. Hopefully it goes just as smooth as the first one. But yeah, here, hang on. There you go, you can kind of see it all at once, but uh, I think it turned out freaking awesome. And like uh, Mrs. Austin said, it's kind of nice to have a mirror in your bathroom <laughs> when you're brushing your teeth and stuff. <laughs> Make sure you're not going to bed with toothpaste all over your face or you're not going to work in the morning. So, all right, so we'll, uh, we'll get the hangers on the back of the second one and uh, we'll try to get this guy hung in place here and then I'll show you guys finished product. Okay guys, <laughs> so we got excellent clearance there and check out this clearance on this plug-in. Oh yeah, <laughs> we got like, I don't know, less than a quarter inch there, but it's perfect. All right, that looks freaking awesome. Awesome. So we just gotta clean the mirrors and that's it, that's hung. Mrs. Us hasn't seen it yet, so she can be excited. She can be excited. Whee! <laughs> <gasps> oh, it looks so good. Can you see oh, one? Awesome, hey? Can you see? Oh, mirror? This one? <gasps> mirror. <It's awesome. laughs> see what I'm brushing my teeth? <laughs> it fits. Perfect. Oh. Okay, final answer. We got that. That gap as good as we can get it. <sighs> Pretty good all the way. So, um,. Yeah, that's it. That's that's how she's gonna stay, and it looks freaking good. So, all right, I still have to clean the mirrors, but all right, that looks awesome. I'm gonna take a couple pictures. Yeah. <laughs> she just totally gets her way. Okay, so we totally had to take this piece of trim off. That's how tight this is. So we uh, put our supports on the wall, uh, screwed those into every stud. Um, so it now, is heavy. Yeah, totally heavy. So me and Miss Sasa brought it in. We've got it set down now, I just have to carefully push it in. And it, you have to keep it perfectly even because a little bit, if it goes a little bit one side or the other, it won't fit. Oh, what, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks awesome. Much better. Totally, totally awesome. Oh, a oh, little bit of a You banger. did that. No, that's not, it wasn't me. How could I bang it over? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna decide. Um, I'm just gonna run a couple uh, screws in just to secure down. Um, we're gonna decide if we're gonna run a little bit of trim here or not. It does fit really nice, but I don't know. I don't I think it no needs trim. I don't, yeah, I don't think. It I don't think either. it needs screws either, because if you need yeah, to get I it think back it up. needs screws. You think so? Yeah, like it's well. It's heavy as. Uh, okay, we'll just put two in. Heavy as nads. We'll put two in. Is that a thing? Have you used nads? No, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, the exact same 
um, lights and driver, or no, different drivers. We're trying to go with these smaller drivers. No, 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 they're the same name brand, yeah, just smaller, smaller wattage, but the same wattage as that one. But oh. I had bought 96 watt oh, yeah. because way he thought much, that I was we're doing, doing basically yeah. one strip. Yeah. So it's way too much driver for the amount of lights. That basically that driver can run an entire spool. I'm not sure. Was here. down here. They got like the dog toys and stuff. The entire <laughs> spool. Oh, this is only a little bit left. But uh, one driver can run a whole spool of these LED lights. So. Yeah. So. So we'll get that mounted first, and then we'll have a we'll have a nice little under cam landing. So we got perfect, uh, you know, clearance for the light switch. We got perfect clearance here. And then this will just. Um, Heshi is gonna finish that. Oh yeah, we've got a nice panel that goes on that just covers the whole bottom of that. So it'll look just like the kitchen. You never really see it until you say you're sitting on the. No, but you can see it <laughs> on the bathroom, on the toilet. You can see it. But yeah, so that'll be all all in, and then this will be one more room that I think will be completely. And done. then this kitty, she tries to sneak Here. in all the time. Go in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Good. Ignore all the debris sitting around. Okay, there's two ways we could tackle this. <laughs> we can edit and make it look like we knew what we were doing and we had the exact amount of wood, or we could tell the truth and say this is like a week later and Mrs. Osta got one more plank um, stained, stained and varnished and all ready to go in. So we had three left to do, so we got two on there, so we got our last one going in, guys. But it still looked good. Huh? It still looked good. <laughs> still what? It still looked good. Oh, yeah, it looked awesome. You just, turned up so we just hit the last three steps so that you didn't see. So good. Can you see my gitch? Oh, the blue. <laughs> the blue came out to play. Oh, it looks so good. Okay. Ready? Nail it. There. Nail it. You nailed it. Nailed. Nailed it. Hey, hey Luna. Do you agree? Luna. Look at her. That's a, that's she's a, a shock cat. But she's pretty dozy. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, back to the stairs. Boom. Awesome. Okay. Oh, so just trim. a couple of little pieces of pine there. Yeah. Which you can't see here. You'll slide in. Okay, and done. <laughs> <laughs> Wee. Oh, it is a gorgeous night. Oh, I miss Mrs. Asta. She's just out for a rip. Hey, I just want to do a little video. It's the first time you use that little mixer table. So when we were designing the kitchen, he was asking us if we wanted any special things. So uh, Mrs. Austin does a lot of baking at Christmas. So uh, we asked for this little flip up shelf. So it goes, flips up into position. So the mixer always stays there and it just flips down into the cupboard. It's pretty handy because you know those mixers, they're kind of a pain, they're kind of heavy. If you have them stored up above, they're kind of a pain to get out and set up. So here you just lift up the shelf and it clicks in. Pretty freaking cool. All right. Yeah. What? <laughs> now you want to take the after? We're done. So we um, are starting to frame in this fireplace. Uh, so, so Yeah, exactly. So, so part of that was uh, this was all just poly. So all that had to be covered so that there was no, uh, so there's no danger of anything falling on. Even though this is a, like a basically a zero clearance chimney, it's, it's, it's insulated. So even even still we ran I don't think we had to but we did concrete board There's still lots of clearance there. Can you see? Ugh. Lots of clearance there, but uh, we just ran concrete board there and there um, Just cuz just cuz we had some so anywhere where we thought maybe it would get warmer than usual We ran concrete board. So when we frame this um, We'll basically be building these little walls that come out uh, all up here has to be steel studs Anything on top of the fireplace has to be steel studs and concrete board. So all that's going to be a bit of a pain. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll frame all this in wood to give it strength. And then we'll use, we'll use those steel studs and we'll frame that up. And then, uh, <clears throat> we are, I think we were going to go with similar rock as we used here. We were going to go with similar, maybe a little darker, but now we might be hooking up with a company and we might be doing this really cool, this concrete look. Because it's like I poured concrete. On the floor. Oh yeah. And so I it all stemmed from the floor. I made a hot mess of it. Yeah. Mrs. Austin stained about 17 million boards but, in here. Um, it's 
tile, like tile, yeah. is like twelve to thirteen the, to fourteen dollars a square foot. The price. tile she wanted, yes. That I wanted, and I thought about it, and there's just so many decisions to make because we didn't put in floor heating. But I think it'll be fine. This baby is gonna blow the heat. Like we're gonna be blown right out of the room. Yeah, this is a very big um, fireplace. Plus, it has electric fan kit on it, so, so it's really gonna pump the out the heat. Guy that's doing this. Yeah, is gonna, gonna do the floor. This. So we're gonna we're gonna strip these floors, and we're gonna we're you guys will see when we get going. But we're going to basically run like a stained concrete in here, a really nice dark color, and then we'll put some really nice throw rugs in here. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Can you grab me some more little staples? Yeah. From in there? So right now, Miss Sauce is just tacking up all these electrical wires. Uh, there's wire for the fan, and then there's wires for the TV. The thing is, we've had this wire just hanging there. They're like, what was? Yeah, there was. There was one breaker in there that they didn't know what it was, and it was for the fan for this fireplace. I this wire, but I did not didn't mark in there. Because it was an afterthought. Because when we built the place at the lake, we did not put a fan in right away. Yeah, so we and we regretted it. it yeah, feet, yeah. Which worked great, but I'll tell you right now. So when the fireplace gets to a certain temperature, yeah, it, tur it turns on. Going and, it's perfect. and once Otherwise, this cools it off, it shuts off. off. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. So. Uh, and the other electrical wires will go to a TV box because we'll have a, I think I got a 65 TV for up there. So we're going to run, uh, we'll have to run uh, a non-combustible, um, what's it called? The thing that goes across? Not the hearth, but the mantle. We have to run a non-combustible mantle. So I don't know, we've got to make something out of steel or concrete or something. And you need that to block the heat so that it doesn't fry that TV as well. It probably will be okay running the the, the fan kit because it should blow the heat out here more rather than the heat just rolling up the wall. But uh, we'll, we'll get it figured out. So so we'll get, uh, basically we'll get a start on tomorrow. Hopefully my brother's supposed to be coming to help, thank God. I've never really worked with steel studs. They seem like such a pain in the butt. I don't think they're that difficult. But we'll find out tomorrow. We'll all find out together tomorrow. She's like, holy. Okay, good morning or good early afternoon. <laughs> but we already had to go to town and back so it's, so it's not like we slept in we got up we got stuff started okay so even though this looks like just up like a pile of wood this is going to be our king size bed frame so we're going to use these big six by eight posts from our from our number one wood cutters in all of canada except for if you see they're not perfect oh yeah but it's like everything right well no i they, i wanted them to have character so if you look at the... You're going to have character, all right. <laughs> so anyways, um, so Miss Sauce got the side rails cut. So we're going with two by eights for the side rails. Um, I just got to cut some metal brackets because we're going to secure um, the side rails to the post with these really nice thick uh, angle iron brackets. So I got to cut and drill those. And then we're going to work on getting the footboard and the headboard done. And then we'll carry everything upstairs and we'll assemble it in that room. We'll... Yeah, for measurements. Yeah, it, yeah. The foreman is coming to inspect uh, everything. <laughs> make sure. Okay, so we are um, cutting. You know how many times we've used our little cheapy bandsaw hey. here? Princess Auto. Like a thousand, Princess Auto. A thousand freaking railroad spikes. Okay, so we are cutting our little uh, pieces to attach our bed rail to our big posts. So what do you have so, to do to them? So I'll, I'm going to drill offset holes in them. Mm -hmm. So two here and two there. And that's what it'll attach. Big, nice lag bolts. I'm just saying. So I'm just saying. Done. I'm just saying the one on our bed. Our bed slides in. It has special little. <laughs> I don't care. This one's getting bolted in. Okay, so here's how we cut it. So you gotta come over, come over here. Okay. Hey Fred, can you get a shirt on? Watch it. Yeah. Cross the two. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. I got Ready? It. Yeah. <laughs> gentle pressure like barely anything just the weight of the machine so one more yep one more last uno one. mas last one yeah <laughs> blade like i said has cut a million it's maybe time for a new bandsaw blade maybe all right okay Ooh, look at this spare parts mm -hmm. Holy. See how slowly it 
comes through. <laughs> That's so why is that? Because it's... Just, it's that much friction. gonna twist a little bit because it's only one bolt so we're yeah, gonna toenail to slats and stuff on yeah. I think I'm just gonna use a half inch so, by eight so we countersunk them about that much so we get that much into the four by four okay hold on let me go from this angle so you can actually see so it's countersunk about that much and then puts two um, oh yeah I did two uh, toenails just to just so it didn't spin once it's all built with all the slats, it, it can't spin anyways, but just to hold it, hold it now. So this takes a little while because it's a lot of wood to get through. I wonder if a drill on number one setting would go, would go better. Let's try it. Push it up. Use your magnifying glasses. <laughs> oh! Ah! Broken wrist. Did you seriously? No. Oh god, you scared me. But it really hurt. I mean, I thought it was funny for a Spray second, uh, and then you said you broke your wrist. God, what a retard. <laughs> okay, impact it is. I got that on the video though. Ugh. So things not to do when you're when you're Ugh. when you're thinking it's faster. Don't put your most powerful drill on number one on an immovable force and just nail it. Oh god, that hurt. Oh, poo. Okay. Okay. Fast forward. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it doesn't look like a lot has happened, but a lot has happened. So on the on the footboard we have to go double sided because you see both sides on the headboard, one side goes against the wall. Wow, that looks awesome. So we gotta do a whole row that way and then come back and do a whole whole row the other way. Yeah, headboard one row for sure. Cause because this will be the back of the headboard and that goes against the wall and who cares? Mrs. Austin forgot to stay in one side. Yeah. It looks freaking awesome. The way um, Al did it, it's a different look. Yeah, it is totally. It's, it's got like... It's like yeah, nothing. yeah. That looks freaking awesome. Even though you, 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 you barely even see any of that. The mattress covers it almost all of it on the inside. But you see it on the outside perfect. Sorry, I'm kind of snotty. We're allergic to cats. Let's get a cat. This has happened in our lives together. This has happened at least three times, four times. What? We've got a cat. We, we, we deal with allergies for years. And we're like, okay, we gotta get rid of a cat. We both are allergic to cats. Yeah, we get rid of it. We go a couple years, we get a freaking cat. Hey, we also are allergic to Sodom. Cat. <sighs> Anyways, does not look freaking awesome, guys. Okay, we're gonna finish up. Let's take it, uh, I wanna take a video of you lifting it up. <laughs> It's really heavy. <laughs> that is just the footboard. So Twisting, jerking motion. It's heavy, hey? Yeah. That's okay. Man, it looks freaking awesome. Ooh, that's solid. Wow. 5,000 little monkeys can jump on it. No kidding. Wow, it looks so good. So what we did is we went flush on the bedside because really the mattress by the time you're box spring a mattress you're not really going to see it so we went flush here so we could have a bit of a reveal here see that tiny bit of a reveal it looks awesome the reveal looks really cool it gives it like some depth so this has also been making these running changes this whole time but they're all good so i've been crabbing i've been crabbing this whole time but she went with thicker of this we were originally going to go with just five eighths but this is like inch and a half plus two so it looks way better it looks a little chunkier this it suits it better it just doesn't look like it's like hidden i want it to kind of be hidden. dang that looks good so really all really the hard work is done because really really we're just uh learning as we go so we'll screw those braces on our sideboards whoops sorry those braces on our sideboards and then basically we just have to repeat this procedure with the headboard bolt everything together and hopefully we have a mattress sometime to put on there look at the christmas tree back there still not decorated yeah and it was totally in the way i had to park the truck in the shop to melt Where it off it i don't know somewhere okay let's keep trucking
Hey, we had to call. We had to call in the big guns. <laughs> so my brother's here. Thank God. Uh, no, no, it was fine. So uh, he's here and gonna help us. Uh, I've never framed with steel studs before, so I don't want. I don't want the headache. So, so we're just starting to frame in of our fire, a wood fireplace out in the patio, and then uh, and then from there um, we'll eventually build our little our little side wings. And then I think we are going with concrete countertops. We were gonna go wood ones, but I think we changed our mind going with concrete. And then also the, what would you call that? Yeah. You know, the, the hearth, whatever that goes up to, the, that might be all concrete too. So we're still seeing, and I think we're gonna do a stained concrete finish on the floor as well. So it should look pretty cool. But all that's uh, to be determined for sure. So all we know today is we're gonna get uh, this framed around the fireplace. So it'll kind of look cool because it, it brings this wall out and it just is, is going to be a much different look than all our other fireplaces we have. Everything else is kind of built in. This one we wanted, we wanted out because the countertops go here. So we wanted it kind of out just in front of the countertop. So we'll get working on this. Okay, this is for when we put concrete board and we forget all what we did. But we did uh, three extra studs in the middle that we didn't have to do just so we could have a good backing to hang our TV off of. So 34 inches from the ceiling down gets you, so that'll be the bottom of the TV box. Boom, 34. This will be in the video. So anytime we want a reference. <laughs> and then uh, it's just center of wall, which is about 38 inches to the center of that. So perfect. So the TV box will be about right about there. And then the TV will be, you know, obviously half up, half down. <laughs> So that is it. So according to the instructions, um, you have to be non-flammable from 70, so, what is it, 84 inches, seven feet. So from the bottom there, seven feet up, that's why we're able to use that wooden header. So that just strengthens everything up because that's above seven feet. So, but we'll run concrete board all the way to the ceiling. So that is it, the framing is done. So we're gonna throw some concrete board on. On the front and the sides we'll just use plywood and we'll get all that closed in <laughs> good morning I need a shave okay so we are uh, drilling our holes through for our eight inch lag bolts so we're countersinking them whatever that distance is so maybe inch and a bit so first we do our speed bit oh. And now I just want it to that shoulder there, so you gotta kind of watch, cause it goes really fast. And then after that, we use this handy dandy other spade bit, but it's a 3 8 like extendo to drill all the way through. Cause this is so long. Where did you through. get that from by the way? Man, it was like seriously on a clearance rack at Canadian Tire for super cheap. I went to so many different hardware stores. Trying not to find it. Yeah. And then I seen it on like a clearance rack at Canadian Tire for like five bucks. I bought a whole bunch of different kinds and... None of them really worked very no. good. This one, mint. So you try to get it really straight cause if you drill at an angle, it's gonna come out, out at a different measurement. So you gotta try to get her pretty. Usually takes two times once you get through a certain point. A lot of the yeah, it seems like the sawdust, shavings. the chips build up and you just can't push through it anymore. So just dump it out, and then usually you can finish the rest. As long as there's not too many knots, we're good. Yeah. To that one was mint. So we'll do that one and then we're going to move everything upstairs because we moved the footboard upstairs this morning and it was tough and this one's way bigger so it's going to be hard to go around the corner so we're going to build it upstairs smart, smart. okay we're getting closer so he put the brackets on this side we measured our bed to get kind of the right dimensions and how high so that the mattress fits yeah, that properly. One, because these rails can bolt on everywhere, anywhere on this post. So we need to, what is it, 81 and a half yep. to the outside? So we need 81 and a half to the outside of the. Of the and, and then eight inches off the Eight board. inches off. Yep. So, 
So once these are on, we'll just uh, we'll just mark with a marker. Because our bed is different um, widths, like our posts and stuff are different widths than the one downstairs. But... All in all, it turned out pretty darn good. It's gonna be awesome. That's all First good. bed frame ever. <laughs> Maybe last, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but these were these were my uh, garage sale find. I just painted the top. So, and she sold me this one for cheaper because uh, her dog chewed on the edges. But I uh, just rounded the edges off. So this they're one. like solid oak, and it was like how much? Fifty bucks? No, for both of them, bucks. it was. I think she eighty, like a hundred bucks. So, so good, good. good. Okay, we're getting close here. Last one. The last one. Another screen. Cross members. Battery's dying. Uh oh. <laughs> we have a lot of pictures too. That was a bummer. And she's in, she's in. That is it. Me work. Me to work. Hey. So we use our little spacers so that everything is the same. So now all we gotta do is cut our slap pieces. I'm gonna screw the slap pieces on so they don't move around. You and know, then you just need a couple little uh, braces. braces. I don't think we need them, but we can put them in easy. They're good. And then we'll, we all we got right now is box spring. So we'll put the box spring on it, make sure it fits. Mm -hmm. That's it. Awesome. Okay, so we hung a couple of pictures and then I cut some blocks. Um, every second thing I put a big block in just for extra bracing and then I screwed all the slats down. Drilled and screwed all those down, two screws each. So she is ready. So we're gonna bring the box springs up and then pray that our mattress shows up in the next couple days. <laughs> hey guys, I'm just filling in a couple little pieces of a couple little things we got done that we didn't get any video of. So we finished our little, uh, one of our little coat hanger rack shelf things here. Um, we did the same thing with the railroad spikes. We just cut them a, just a tiny bit longer just so you could hang a couple things on each one. And then we just used that really rough sawn two by six um, stained and varnished. Um, so yeah, that went really good. So this little area here is almost done. Um, we ended up running out of tile and uh, we have the tile now, but the floor has to be shut off, um, the heated floor so that stuff doesn't dry too quick. So I think we're gonna have to wait till spring to get done that little bit there. There's a little slice there, and there's this last row there that has to get done. <laughs> so as crappy as it is, we'll, I think we're gonna have to wait until we can shut the heated floor. Because if we shut it off now, we've had so many minus 40 nights. If we shut it off, the shop will get really cold, and then uh, it's gonna take days to warm back up too. So. Um, we'll just end up waiting for spring. So I just wanted to show you this real quick and then we're gonna run upstairs and we're gonna see the finished bed. So we're just up here in the loft. Man, <laughs> we've got some crazy snow. We've got some crazy snow build up. So I imagine I'll have to probably shovel some of that off um, before it becomes an issue because we have a couple intakes and exhausts on this wall. You can't really see, but hopefully it doesn't come an issue. But man, it's like, like I said, it's like the planet Hoth out there. It's crazy. It's so windy today. It's not so cold till I'm minus 25, but it is windy. It is like, oh, it's gross. So I think we'll do a little plower, plowing later this afternoon. So we'll just go uh, take a look upstairs here. We haven't really shown upstairs. We got it kind of set up a little bit more furniture. Um, Mrs. Osta has been using this as a little workout area up here um, just because we're not quite finished out on the deck there. So yeah, a couple of arcade machines. Um, it's pretty cool. We took uh, the seats out of Ghost, our our one X3, our our uh, 2020 X3, and uh, we made these cool stands. Djax Welding and PA made these really cool stands for us, and uh, these are our little arcade chairs. Um, we just got to get the other one finished. We still got to paint them because we, they were kind of like a work in progress, but we just got to paint those, and and uh, we'll have these cool little chairs. So we got a little gas fireplace up here, uh, TV. And then uh, we bought a couple pieces of used furniture off Carrie's sister, but really, really nice, comfortable stuff. And then she found some uh, end tables on uh, Facebook 
marketplace and then we bought this uh sectional from leon's it was a uh, cheaper sectional it was, it was on sale but but uh fits the area really good and then that's kind of on that tv there and then everything with the bar is all mu pretty much done this is us to set that up a while ago clean it all up and everything works great kind of little convection microwave there so you can use it as a little oven or a microwave um, water drain fridge everything works really good there so we still got to host <laughs> Host a big party here when we're <laughs> when we're all done. Um, then in the bedroom this way. I come upstairs. I wanted to show you guys the finished bed. We never really got any video of it all being finished. Just how freaking cool it turned out. It turned out so cool. So we got we got our mattress in a few days after we were done, and uh, we actually had a company over Christmas, and they slept in here. And they said it was awesome. They had their own bathroom, their own shower. It's like your own little suite upstairs here. So it's pretty dang cool. Sorry, I was zoomed in all, partially zoomed in all the whole time. So yeah, the bed turned out freaking fabulous. Like better than we could have even thought. Really, really sturdy um, with the two by eight side rails and all the slat boards and, and uh, everything just turned out really, really awesome. Really cool, really cool look. Even those uh, Mrs. Austin kind of stained in there to kind of take care of those shiny um, lag bolts. But it turned out really cool. Really cool working with, with wood and with Mrs. Austin, uh, Mrs. Austin's awesome ideas. So yeah, okay, well let's continue with the video. Good morning. Oh yeah, it's good early afternoon. Hey, what guess happened? what? what happened? Look what Mrs. Asta picked up. These no, are going to be... It doesn't look as cool without the grout in. Oh, yeah, totally. It'll totally change the look. Uh -huh. I'll throw a picture of how it looks with a bit of white grout. That was at the, that was at Home Depot. It was already grouted. So without it, it looks so much different. But these are going to be the backsplashes for the bathrooms. So we have these ones for upstairs and downstairs. And then this one for our bathroom in the bedroom. What? I oh yeah, but nice. yeah, it's gonna look. It'll look. The, the, it'll look cool. It has a nice. Yeah, and like like uh, she said, it totally changes the look when you grow it too. So you could go with a gray grout or a a light tan grout or a white grout, and it really really changes the look. So. And then the one in the bedroom too. You put it in there. Yeah. Okay, so the dryer is out of place because I'll show you why in a second. Because we needed the dryer plug power. For, I'll show you why in a second. Oh, messy business. Oh, it, it just fell down. Fell down? Yep. Yeah. Or no, that's just how you I had it. Kind of oh, yeah. Fold it over. Oh, that'll look, that'll look awesome. It's kind of just a nice yep. light, but it's got the same kind of lines in it. Yep. And then she's going to choose one of these colors for the grout. Either like a brown or the charcoal or gray, dark gray for the grout, so. It's really going to look cool. Okay, let's go look why the dryer is pulled out. And why this is such a mess. So we never took any video of this because, I don't know, I wasn't really having a real fun day. So Miss Sauce like, hey, we should take some video. I'm like, no, let's just keep going. <laughs> so anyways, we framed all around the windows. So um, other than in the middle, because this is wider than five inches, and these are only five inches, so we're gonna have to custom cut ones because I didn't want to do two pieces. I just wanted one full piece. So barn wood is right there on the windowsill. Oh yeah. So Mrs. Austin wants to, which I don't know if we're gonna have enough, but this is what she how she wants to side the whole interior here with that barn wood. So I have no idea if we have enough. Like we definitely have enough for this. You know that here. That's gonna be all counters, so we don't worry about that. It's that. This big wall. It's this, yeah, this wall here is gonna take a crap ton, so. There's two sheds plus the Yeah, plus yeah, the we'll see. Dog. So anyways, why the dryer was out? Because they needed the power, because we are, they're starting to sand the floors. We're gonna do a stained concrete finish in here. So something that we never tried in any of the other parts yeah, of the house. I've wrecked, I've wrecked three pairs of oh, and I'm here, I'm walking around. So they're grinding. Mrs. Yeah, Mrs. Austin basically stained every single board in this house in here. So it was like a stain factory. So they have to grind all this so stain off. It, he said it's not 
big deal. So yeah, because this was all black spots too. It's yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah, comes but off so pretty. They, they come over it and see how these little marks in here. Yeah. So those are gonna come out with the stain. Oh, cool. So it'll be like darker spots than the yeah. lighter spots. Yeah. It'll still be dark. But it all it'll have a variance. Like, yeah, it won't just be. like wood has, it's got character. So now our floor will have a character too. I'm not sure if there'll be a video out before then or not. Maybe that'll be the end of part twenty or well, who knows. We'll, be able to show, we'll see. Show the floor. Yeah, yeah, the floor uh -huh. will be done. Yeah. Super cool. So yeah, that's what's going on in here. So this is the other than the car wash bay, this is the last room to that needs to get finished. This so fabulous room and it, it Yes. Like, yeah now this is the showcase exactly right like the you had to get the you had to get the kitchen and the bathrooms you had to get a working house first and then this kind of just this sat idly by yeah we had a couple really really nice fires i split some uh a bit of pine and a bit of poplar and we had a couple really nice like last night i think it was only about minus 15 last night it was so I'm, nice in I'm here not gonna lie. I love the but I don't know what it is. yeah the smell yeah yeah wood heat is awesome the smell is awesome the only thing the only drawback is the mess that it leaves right yeah. bringing in all the wood but but it, it's it's more of a rustic room so we're gonna actually uh in this part of the countertop we're gonna do like a 36 inch wide wood box right there so all the wood can stay there that'll that'll be really handy but the deck will be right there so you can yeah it yeah there. sorry for panning around so fast sorry I'm doing, I'm trying to, I'm really trying my best to really be a steady camera operator because through the whole build series, that's maybe the one, number one complaint and I apologize for that. But anyway, so it's kind of funny. That's going to be one little strip of barn wood in there, just the way it worked out. Um, this is also going to get all the crown molding as well, all the way up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, we we want to bring a wire out of the out of the yeah. utility room and underneath the sink, uh, so we can run. It, uh, we decided to put in a hot water tap, which we had at our other place. Oh, awesome! Which we had at our other place, and we love because if you drink tea or or hot chocolate, or whatever, it's just always boiling water, always all the time, and it takes nothing for power. It's a tiny little hot water tank that goes underneath your your sink. We just so. Yeah, we'll just we'll Even just cut a. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But we'll seal it back up once yeah. we we'll cut it, move the insulation, run the wire in, put the insulation back, tuck tape it, put the wood back, and we'll be good you to know go. What you're gonna look like when you're doing it. <laughs> That'll just be like sugar plums and candy canes. Have no hey, Riley. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. The general contractor is here to, is here yeah. To She's like, <laughs> let me tell you a couple of things about what I think should be going on in here. My knee, smile. Guess what? We had to take all her, oh look at her tongue. We had to take all her teeth out, poor little girl. She's just getting old and her teeth are starting to get a little uh, rotten and she was sick a lot, so we, we took all her teeth out. She's way happier, but she looks way sillier because her tongue is so stuck. <laughs> but she should live for lots more years now, so that was definitely the right decision to make. Okay. Sorry, this video is kind of getting long, but anyways, so that's what we're up to. We're gonna keep trucking. We'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so here's how the sanding goes. He is almost done. So once that's all cleaned up, so here's what it looked like before. Mrs. Oster Cruiser's pure stain splatters. And then when it's done, it'll just be nice concrete. So. Finer grit. Oh, okay. The, he said the surface. So what this also does is take ridges off of the concrete. Oh yeah. So if the concrete nice is not and smooth. completely smooth, it'll just take. What that's why that kind of get that kind of different sheen. No. Sheen. Variation look in look. In color, kind of. Yeah, like there's like little kind of like you know like see those little kind of darker spots. Yeah, spots? yeah, yeah. A lot of that just needs to get swept up though. No, no, but they're, it's like that though. Okay. Dark and light, dark and light. Okay. So, which I didn't even notice. So you literally not realize that there's some rises in the concrete. So it's pretty nice. There's a big vacuum hooked up. So there's not much dust at all. Vacuums as he goes. Not like when we cut the concrete board. Yeah, totally. Like We're using the little skill saw to cut concrete board and holy cow, was it dusty. Okay, so we'll check on check in on him in a, in, in a little bit.
things to do. Freaking love it. Deep Six's heated cab definitely helps. And this Super Duty plow is a freaking beast. But man, I love plowing snow. Every time it snows, I do a little, a little jump for joy. Woohoo! <laughs> This comes through on video there's like there's a really cool rainbow on each side of the sunset there's like just a bit of snow in the air so <laughs> we just went for a, to burn some cardboard and some scrap wood <laughs> look where he has little boots on <laughs> she come for a winter adventure and I was like man the sun looks so cool it seems like it, it should be you know go all the way they seem so straight, but they must curve a little bit. Anyway, super cool. We got maybe another half hour of sunlight, so I thought that was super cool. Man, we got so much snow, you guys. It's like the planet Hoth out here. So as soon as it warms up, we are full sending everything we own out in here. <laughs> we're, just, we're gonna see what gets stuck and what makes it. That includes the dually. Rare moment of silence in the last like three weeks that the boiler's not running right now. It's been, holy cow, 35 and 40 below every single night. So the baby has been running like gangbusters. So, but it's been keeping everything warm and that's going in and out because we've been having a lot of snow. So that big garage door has been open every day, pretty much in and out. Defender has been going in and out, burning garbage. So thank God that everything's been working great. And one, one little boiler heats this entire place. <laughs> And a couple upstairs, the couple, uh, the fireplace upstairs runs. We just keep it 18 up in the, up there when there's no one around. So that fireplace is set on a thermostat. So that definitely helps heat up there. And then the floor keeps everything else warm. Hey, good evening, guys. I just want to do a short little video. Um, Christmas is over. We just passed New Year. Happy 2022 to everyone. So Mrs. Austin is going to start taking down the decorations. And I want to do a little video just because everything looks so great when she has it all decorated up. So we'll have to wait till all the way till next Christmas to see it again. So I just wanna do a quick little video. This is Mrs. Mrs. Austa's idea here. She really, really, really loves Legos if you guys didn't know. So she, we got this old ladder and we put some nice old planks on here and she just does this whole Christmas scene. I bought her that for Christmas. Harry Potter, Harry Potter Lego. Next year she's gonna put it in here. There's like a little Lego train that goes. There's so many cool things. Lots of stuff she couldn't find because um, it was from previous years. So she scoured Facebook Marketplace and she found the sets that she needed. So pretty cool. So yeah, just a quick little video. Our tiny little Christmas tree. We finally got our blinds all ordered and now they're waiting on the controllers. <laughs> so we'll have all our motorized blinds in hopefully soon. He said a couple more weeks for the controllers. So we'll get all those wired in and we can finally get rid of these these whatever these are these little whatever they are <laughs> so and then I'll show you out in the patio um, so we got this concrete stained it's supposed to be a walnut color like kind of a more brown it kind of turned out a little bit more kind of orangey than than I thought so but with some furniture and our counters and some nice area rugs it's really really going to be great out here and then you guys seen us framing up um, this fireplace here so it's pretty crazy. Um, it's been so cold. It's been lots of nights of minus 40. We're getting this crazy frost from the cold air intake. You can see it in here really good. So I'm wondering if a guy should install some sort of metal, metal drip pan there. Um, just so if that happens, because as soon as you start the fire and you, and this thing heats up, all that melts and you get a little bit of dribbling out here. So it'd be nice if a guy could control that. Um, if that's going to be an issue, maybe it won't be an issue once we got this room heated Maybe it just won't be so bad, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. So next step is to uh, build our counters uh, Mrs. Austin kind of drew a bit of a diagram of what we're gonna do We're gonna have a nice little wood box here and these nice counters with those two and a half inch thick countertops We're gonna do those wood countertops 
there's gonna be a sink and hopefully a cooktop there and uh, and a little fridge over there. It should look really cool. And then um, she wants to do this barnwood um, siding there, but we got a lot of area here to cover and I'm not sure if we have that much barnwood. So that's kind of still to be decided. And then we got to um, take care of that. Remember that two by eight footing again, we got to build um, exactly what we did here. I don't know if you can see with all these plants here, but we got to build our little, our little cover for that though. So it just ends up looking like a giant baseboard, but it blends in really nice. So get all that done. Um, and then in the kitchen, um, we've got to bring a wire in, uh, in the ceiling and then drop down a wall and then go underneath the sink because uh, we want to put in this hot water tap. We had one at our last place and we used it a lot. So, so you get filtered, um, cold and hot water and it's hot water on demand. So it's always there. So say you want tea or hot chocolate or whatever, boom, you, you always got it. You don't got to warm anything up and it looks really cool. It's like a little mini me of that faucet there. So, so yeah, quick little video, um, of the kitchen and the living room and just how pretty everything looks. We're really, really enjoying um, living in our place. Things have been really working out well. The appliances have been working great. TVs, media, all that stuff has been working really great. The fireplace has been working great. The in-floor heat has been working great. Um, we had a few issues with our furnace, um, with the exhaust plugging up with um, frost and stuff. So uh, we got it going again and it plugged up again. So basically, um, that was just a redundant system for the winter anyways. The main reason why we installed the furnace was for air conditioning in the summer. So it's not a huge deal, um, but we'll get that uh, exhaust figured out so that um, we don't have issues. Maybe we'll run some heat tape or something like that. But anyways, just a quick uh, quick overview of, of everything just before Mrs. Austin takes everything down. So like I said, it looks so pretty. So thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you next next little bit.